All right, here we go, YouTube, part three. I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible. I'm going to show you what's in this box of cards. Uh, I already showed you all the rest of the stuff, the autographed shirt, the uh, autographed 8 by 10 the Jeter starting lineup figurines, um, just some amazing stuff Tom sent me. So I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to go through his left side first. There's some graded cards. There's a bunch of baseball. And on the right side is all football. And obviously I can't show you everything, but I'll try to do my best to show you some of the main stuff. So... First, let me show you some of this graded stuff. Um, try to go quick. There was actually a little, um, uh, the Immortals uh, Lou Gehrig medallion. I've never seen this before. Just, again, only a Yankee fan would have had this. So, you're lying to me, Tom, if you tell me you aren't a, Yan a Yankee fan. Or you used to be, and somehow you, uh, you lost interest in our team, man. There's a Mint 9 PSA Bowman Chrome Culpepper rookie. There's a Nearman 8, uh, 95 Bowman Jeter foil. Um, there is a Pro Mint 9, 97 Topps Chrome Jeter refractor. There is a 95 Bowman's Best Jeter Blue refractor. Really a nice card. Mint 9 PSA. Just a cool card. Def a card I don't have ungraded either. So, a couple Jeters, um, 93 Topps, 8.5 Near Mint. 8 Near Mint, that's actually the gold version. Near Mint 8, um, a card I've never even seen before. I have no idea where this came from, but it actually says Stadium Club Derek Jeter Murphy Edition. I have no idea what that is. 1993, Mint 9, PSA, Stadium Club Jeter. It does say 92 Draftic right on the bottom, so look how young he looks there. Crazy. Uh, this is pretty cool. Cup Helper BCCG Mint 10, uh, 0304 Contenders Hawaii Edition, and that's actually numbered 18 of 25. And uh, Ron Dane, uh, Rookie Update, Collector's Edge Supreme, Mint 9. Um, I actually have a bunch of this Collector's Edge stuff somewhere. Uh, this actually does say on the back, Foil Update, 1 of 2,000. So not individually numbered, but limited to 2,000 total cards. So that's pretty cool. I will put these down, and I will try my best to show you some of these cards. Uh, first of all, on the left side... There was a very large stack of um, pretty much base and stuff like that. Some really nice stuff in here. Obviously, I can't go through it individually, but um, gotta be a stack about uh, six, six, seven inches of cards here. Um, all Yankee base. So many Jeters in here. A little bit of everything. New, little, some older. Uh, and then on the front actually was one of those 23 karat gold Whitey Ford cards, uh, which I'll pull out of the package in two seconds to show you it. Uh, once I get all these base out of the way, how are we doing on time? Uh, I think I'm doing okay. Um, pretty cool, 23 karat gold uh, Whitey Ford. Um, card, uh, one of the, I mean, I really don't have any experience with these, so I got one of these in one of my other mail days a while back. I think it was a uh, Reggie Jackson. Oh no, a Babe Ruth. I'm not even sure. I'll have to go back and find it now, but uh, now I've got two of those, so that's pretty cool. Alright, a bunch of baseball hits to run through. Um, I'll try to go quick. Mattingly, uh, Zimmer, Larson, Thurman Munson, which is sick, uh, Java Chamberlain Mini, some numbered cards, um, a whole bunch of numbered cards here, moments and milestones. Um, I don't even know what that is. Uh, Fleer, uh, anyways, Larson. Uh, classic four sport, old school Jeter. Uh, some more Jeters there. I mean, there are so many cards here, you guys just have to, you know, take a look. Old school Yankee team photos, old school tops, newer tops Yankee team photo. This is actually a really low numbered uh, Rizzuto card, numbered 16 out of 25. This is some cool stuff. Hensley Mullins, Bam Bam Mullins, star card from way back in the day, uh, what, 1989, and it's autographed. This had to have been an in-person auto, because I don't think they made these autographed that you could actually pull from packs back then. Uh, Giambi game used, number to 500. Mess Messina IP autograph. And then the uh, pro cards, Bernie Williams autograph, which is so sick. I mean, I can't imagine how long you've had this. This is from the Columbus Clippers way back. I mean, 89 for um, Hensley Bam Bam Mullins and a Bernie Williams auto. Jeter with a pinstripe game used. Um, Jeter and Giambi dual game used out of SPX. 
and a really nice Jeter with a pinstripe out of Ultimate, numbered to only 75. So you guys can imagine the type of stuff that's in here by just seeing that right there. Okay, um, on the right side of this box is all football. Um, I'll show you a couple things. This is a card that Tom wrote all over, but it's actually Paul Smith, who was the uh, co uh, quarterback of Tulsa in Conference USA. We played him. You see, I played him quite a bit, so I knew this guy. Then I followed him in, in college, obviously, because he's got my name. But he was drafted this past year. So this says, yo, what up? No homo up top there. Um, says, it's Pete as bitch. <laughs> And it says in red, bald underneath, pointing up to his helmet. So thanks a lot, Tom. Appreciate the humor. Um, I'm going to put the camera down one more time. And um, again, I can't possibly show you these individually, but there was a bunch of cards on the right side, some football base, a whole bunch of giant stuff here, OCU Manora, some Kevin Smith, uh, rookies mixed in there as well. Um, and this is absolutely amazing. This is all Culpepper rookies, Bowman's, Bowman Chrome. Um, I mean, I don't even Bowman's best. Just every Culpepper gold label, which I didn't have. You sent me duplicates of cards I don't even have yet. It's crazy. I've never even seen this card before. I do have a few of these, but who cares? I mean, this is a stack of about what 20, 25 all Culpepper rookies. I mean. How the hell did you have all of these is my question for you, Tom. This is absolutely crazy. Um, behind the Culpeppers was a big stack of uh, base football. And these are all Culpepper, like second year, third year, fourth year cards, all penny sleeves. Um, some of these, there's like five or six of the same card. How did you have all of these? I um, mean, I can't even... I can't even go through these individually again. Look at this. Every single one of these was Culpeppers, except the very, very first one, which is a uh, Bowman, Brandon Marshall rookie. So, again, another, got to be a hundred individual Culpepper cards. Insane. Behind that, a whole bunch of uh, penny, uh, top loader numbered cards, mostly Giants, some, some cards, again, five and six of the same card. Look at this. These are all the same cards here. Um... Look at that, another one's all the same cards here. Amani Tumor, all kinds of stuff. Behind it is even more of those. Uh, more, more. Some Culpeppers again. I mean, I, again, I just can't imagine. Now, a lot of these were numbered. No way I could possibly show you. And then the very back of the football side, some more Culpeppers. And then we get to some of the game using stuff. There's a Brandon Marshall jersey. Another Brandon Marshall jersey. Really cool looking card. I've never seen before, but this is a Culpepper game used end zone pylon. Uh, pretty cool. Never seen that before. Not numbered. Uh, Kevin Smith jersey. Um, Shockey jersey. Uh, this is actually a Kerry Collins jersey. Pretty cool. Um, right there we have Ron Dane jersey. Uh, another uh, Culpepper jersey. Another Culpepper jersey. Uh, really cool Randy Moss Culpepper duel with a piece of the game used ball there. Not numbered. Um, I knew this was coming. It's like the only card I knew I was getting. This really sick UCF triple threads card with Kevin Smith, Brandon Marshall, and Asante Samuel. UCF, numbered 11 of uh, 15 out of triple threads this year. Totally sick card. Love it. And uh, the final card, which was actually pretty damn funny, um, because I couldn't imagine why you would decide to put a note with just one card here. But I won't show you yet. The note says, uh, this card came from Fleer directly as a replacement for a missed hit from an 01 Ultra. It's, it was an SP to 25, so who knows how many actually went in packs. Tom Hudson fan. Dante Culpepper, Fleer Authority, on card autograph. So sick. Unbelievable. So, um... That's it, guys. I'm going to cut this video. You saw pretty much everything. Please leave your comments. Let me know. And I'll leave a link for Tom again. Tom, you're the man, dude. Thanks a lot. Later.